President Tinubu has gifted the Super Eagles a plot of land. Gang, gang. Whether you like it or not, the Super Eagles are still flying high. Yesterday, the Super Eagles paid a courtesy visit to the president and they didn't go home empty handed. Our Super Eagles are not just heroes on the pitch anymore. They are now land and flat owners in Abuja. Ka, 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 ka. I'm just joking. I think it's wonderful. On top of that, they've joined the likes of Anthony Joshua and Burner Boy in the exclusive club of the Order of the Niger, or as the cool kids like to call it, month. Do you know what this means? Well, it means that they have a title and they're also involved in the state's national development issue. But do you think the Super Eagles actually deserve this? Like, should they have been gifted considering the fact that like they did not win the cup? Just curious what you guys think. I know what I think, but I'm curious to find out what you think. Comment down below in the comments. This national honor that has been given to them is also not just a fancy title. They also get priority in official manners, invite exclusive state events, you know, just the, 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 the. so it will be Alex, it will be comma, M-O-N, gang, gang. Now, I know some people have been on the Super Eagles case saying that, you know, this cop should have been brought home and all of that. But at the end of the day, I think it's such a breath of fresh air to see the president respond with positivity towards the footballers considering the fact that it was incredible effort and like I said yesterday let's be honest cyberbullying is not the kind of reception our heroes deserve the federal government stepping in to give these guys recognition they deserve is thumbs up for me and I absolutely love it and I think a lot of us are supporting it and we're happy about this some people are skeptical though about the president fulfilling his promise and I understand why because do you guys remember that the, the Super Eagles who won 1994 AFCON, it took 28 years for the house promise to be fulfilled. 28 years! Like what? That was insane. That was such a silly fiasco. So I don't blame anyone who's skeptical about the fact whether this will happen or not. Also, I actually remember that the AFCON 2022 came with promises, but the promises they didn't have to fulfill them because the Super Eagles did not deliver. Godwin MFLA said that the team was going to get $50,000 for every goal they scored in the knockout phase and the Super Eagles did not score any goals. We, we actually were kicked out in the round of 16. So yeah, and we didn't score a single goal. But let's see what happens. Let's see if President Tinubu will be able to fulfill these gifts. Oh, also, let me not forget to mention this, that even from, you know, CAF, Eagles won serious cash. Guess how much? four million dollars for their runner-up position while Cote d'Ivoire is going home with seven million dollars for lifting the Afghan trophy that's about uh eighty two thousand dollars per person uh, for Nigeria so that's good money if you do it's two thousand dollars by whatever the race is right now is a lot is a lot is a lot is a lot and then also I mean our eagles most of them already make money in dollars so let's not lie this is two thousand dollars they're probably just going to use it to buy like for things. <laughs> These people are they're not broke. Oh. Don't look at them with small eye. This is the kind of positivity that I like to start, you know, the scoop with. More stories like this, right? More stories like this. And it really just shows you like who needs to be a winner. You can be a second runner up and you still make money. You know? Anyway. Have you guys heard that Tinubu is not the cause of Nigeria's problems? I don't know who is. Well, let's find out. Click on the next video to find out who's causing Nigeria's problems.